Hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we'll be doing this setup today for a graduation um, party and in this video besides doing a setup I want to talk a little bit about where I'm at on this journey of mine with um, doing balloons and everything um, as well as me doing this setup and the mistakes I think I made when doing this setup so let's get started all right guys so we are jumping right into the video right here you see me attaching two clusters which is tied together directly to the backdrop and i'm making sure to tie it at the pretty much at the lowest point on the backdrop and i am tying all these clusters neck to neck and i'm using two clusters tied together to build this look um i done it before in the spring setup if you guys seen that video with the good vibe sign i did this same kind of technique there um, which is basically two clusters tied together and these are clusters of six balloons tied together and then i'm using that to build the actual garland itself um and i'm using some techniques that some techniques that i recently learned from dress your daydream um catherine uh, I've been watching some tutorials with her and I'm trying to figure out, I'm still kind of in that what is my style kind of journey and I'm really playing around with the shapes um, now because we can all do like the up and over on backdrops or different things. So I'm trying to really play around with shapes right now and get in different kind of shapes and to me that's probably like the hardest thing because even though you may do a different kind of shape sometimes it may not be <laughs> too attractive <laughs> for me i don't know so it's hard and this is the mistake i think i made the first mistake i made was instead of stopping it at that gold i should have went up one more because i end up crossing over um after that goal and i end up you know making it slanted and then i didn't have nowhere else to go but up so i should have went up one more on the goal then i would have been able to really make that dip that i wanted and then go back up here it just kind of went up and straight over and it kind of i don't know i i should have went up one more and then dropped down because i wasn't able to really make the shape that i wanted and right now i'm just using those um clusters that i've mentioned two of them is tied together and i'm tying those to now layer the um this is basically like the body of the garland and now i'm trying to layer it to thicken it out so i'm using these double clusters to thicken out the layer uh to thicken out the body of the actual garland now to pretty much um and this is where you're supposed to basically use the double clusters to kind of enhance the shape that you have i more so lost the shape it, that i had at this point because i mean some people still like the shape the clients still like the shape and well the garment itself so i didn't hear any complaints and you know my sister and stuff she and she liked that as well so to me i didn't really maybe because i had a vision in my head or i really didn't well yeah i kind of had a vision in my head and it really didn't come out how i wanted to so i think i was beating up myself a little bit about that but i think i lost the shape a little bit and even right here i should have connected that green directly to the gold and then um and you'll see because i will end up putting something in between those two because they created a space and i should have connected the green to the gold then connected it to the spine or the the body of the garland um so it'd be nice and tight right there because i end up liking the shape of the side of the um body of it but once it got to the top part it just looked like a thick <laughs> rectangle to me anyway but when i'm adding these other cl double clusters onto the body i'm making sure to tuck the balloons kind of behind the other balloons i'm trying to pull the the body of it um back in front so it won't be like stacked on top of each other and some of this may be a little confusing i feel like you have to start doing the work on your own to 
really understand when you're watching a tutorial what someone is talking about. Even me, myself, when I watch tutorials, I go back sometimes, like once I do something on my own or once I have done like more work, I'll go back and watch the same tutorials because sometimes you miss information or it just go over your head because you may not know exactly what they're talking about um, if you haven't experienced it. So, um, yes, that's a tip right there, I guess. Make sure if you're doing this, um, unless you're just watching for fun, but if you're doing this to learn, definitely go and start practicing and doing this stuff on your own and then come back and watch again because you may, you know, catch something that you missed the first time just because you don't know exactly what they may be referring to. Um, but also in this video, I will be doing a little clip at the end. I end up taking some of these balloon um, clusters back home. The client uh, only end up keeping some of the clusters and I didn't feel like popping them. I wanted to practice with them because I was really hung on the shape and how it really didn't turn out how I wanted. So I'm like, I'm going to take some back home and just try to practice with it. Um because right now I'm really on this journey. I really want to focus on, you know, doing different kind of shapes and exploring that part of it. Because I think it, it can be really, really nice. And I I love the mini garlands. Um, I don't know if this style itself is my style, though. I think I like, instead of doing like two of the same colors clustered together, I, I think I like that cluster in each color like one cluster in each color look and not double clusters in each color i think i'm that kind of girl <laughs> i feel like i'm more drawn to that and that looks more beautiful in my eyes of, of course we all have different styles so that may not be for someone else but i think that's what i'm i like and that's what i'm learning right now that i think i like that style more even though i love the mini garland look i can still implement the mini garlands in my style as well it don't have to be in these double clusters together style so that's something I'm playing around with right now. But I will go home um, and you'll see I have a little clip, a video clip of the, I guess, the garland that I made at home. Just playing around on my wall. And that still came out okay. But it's not like I wasn't in awe about it. <laughs> like, and my sister's like, that is beautiful. And I'm still like, ah. Oh. Like, because maybe it's just not my style. Like, I like it. It's nice. But it's not like, I'm like, oh, that's amazing. Like, ooh. And that's how I want to feel. And maybe we won't feel that way about everything we do, especially if we're doing it for someone. M most of the times, you know, we want to like it, of course. But sometimes if that's not what the client like, then maybe we have to adjust our style for their liking, of course. Um, but you still want to, you know, put your style and your touch of things on these garlands as well. So... And that's what that's where I'm at right now. Uh, and I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> forgetting to talk about what I'm doing. So besides, um, I add all the clusters and added some other clusters on here or double clusters. I'm going to call the double clusters because I'm talking about two clusters in tied together so double clusters i added those on there to thicken it out and now i'm adding some 24 inch balloons um to just give the garland some different dimensions and things like that and just to talk to oh sorry i never mentioned the color so i'm using willow by tough text and that is stuff inside uh no sorry it is double stuff and we have fog double stuff inside willow which is also by tough text and then i have um pink inside white and then we just have white and then reflex um gold by simple text and those are the colors i'm using and right here is what i was mentioning before about um i should have had that green a little bit closer to the i should have tied it to the gold instead of putting like that white in between the two so that's what i was referring to and when you're doing these mini um like these mini garlands like the five inches i like to tie it in different places so it can get its own shape um so i probably tie it end up tying it in two to three places depending on if it's going to stay or not and also i kind of stuff it in between balloons so it's just not sitting on top try to squeeze it in you can be rough with balloons you don't have to be too um 
careful with them because they're balloons if they pop they pop but most of the time you can like push them it's latex so it's flexible you can push them and shovel them in and kind of thing they'll stay so that's what i'm doing with these mini garlands as well and i'm just tying them in different places and making sure and doing the same thing here so let me know what you guys think. Is this your, I mean, even if it's not your style, what do you think about, you know, doing these different shapes and instead of doing the same, um, like up and over a half garland, still, it's still a half garland, but different, just a different kind of shape to it. And I'm using these, min, these, um, mini garlands some of them not to like fill in any kind of gaps i don't have too many but most of them just to play around and treat them as a cluster itself so you can actually treat them as a cluster as well excuse my niece <laughs> lollipop so that's what i'm doing here and i'm just tying in filling some, filling in some more gaps and this is pretty much the end of it yeah, and this is how everything turned out. Let me know what you guys think. Please leave any comments where you at in your journey on these um this balloon journey. Where are you at right now? How is things going for you? What are you learning? Please leave any comments. I would love to know and you know, we can learn together. And this is what I did at home. I recycled those balloons and I had some leftover balloons from um, Jamar and that was blush and misty rose. And I just went home and played with it again. And this is how it turned out at home. And I mean, the shape is good. I still don't think it's my style though. Like it's pretty. And I was, I didn't have a lot of balloons. So I did use what I had. Like I would have put some more probably. I don't know, probably at the top or something. But this is how everything turned out. I did something else at home. But um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. I do respond to all comments. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share any thoughts you have on this, um, on your journey or on my journey. Any feedback, I would love to hear. Um, you know, positive or just some, um, you know, some wisdom. Please share. Um, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I will be doing this style again, though. I'm not giving up. <laughs> I'm going to try it again. I'm not going to say it's my last time. I'm going to try it again for another event I have next week, which should be a little bit um, easier because it's all white balloons. So I don't have to play around with the colors or think about, you know, patterns or not trying to do patterns in any kind of way for this one. It's just all white. So I'll be focusing mainly on the shape. So, at least there's one less variable that I have to worry about when I do this one. But, please, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.